Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Run, Hike, Explore. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the Jetboil Zip cooking system. I'll show you what comes in it, an uncut demo of boiling water so you know exactly how long it'll take, and I'll do a piece-by-piece weigh-in so you know exactly how much each component weighs. Let's get started. Okay, so let's do a breakdown of this thing. First thing I'm going to do is take off the outside cup. It uh, helps protect these heating fins from getting bent or damaged, and it obviously serves as a, you can use it as a drinking cup or a cereal bowl, what have you. I keep my waterproof matches and my lighter in here. Uh, this was not part of the Jetboil Zip system, uh, but that's where I stow it, so it doesn't take up any more space than necessary. Um, the lid, the lid you can see has uh, strainers built into it, so if you're cooking noodles and you need to strain out the water, you can do that. It also has a uh, sipping side on the the other side. What else do we have in here? This is a little stand that you can use to, uh, if you want to add a pot or a skillet or something like that. I'll show you how that fits on. Frankly, I've never used it. I only use this to boil water. I uh, keep the fuel in here. This is a jet boil fuel, not included with the jet boil zip. Uh, you have to buy it separately, but if you buy this smaller size, it's obviously designed to nest inside of your cooking cup. What else do I have? Ah, tin foil. I keep that in case I need to make a windscreen. Um, frankly, I've never had to do it, so maybe I'll stop carrying that. This is the actual burner. I'll show you how to connect that and put this together in a couple minutes. And then the last thing in here is the stand. The stand opens up, clicks to the bottom of the fuel to help steady your cooking system while you're using it. And that's it. Um, on the inside of this are some markings. To measure out water, it's marked in both ounces and milliliters. And this koozie usually stays on all the time, but just for your information, it can be removed. And in fact, while it's in reverse, I think now you can probably see some of the uh, water level markings on that side there. So those are all the parts. Okay, so here's how you set this thing up for actual use. First thing I do is connect the base to the fuel. Just kind of clicks in like that. Then I screw on the burner. Then the cup has some notches where it aligns in there like this. And then finally you'll put your water in. So for the amount of water I'm going to put in two cups, 16 ounces, because that's usually what the, uh, what the meals call for that I use. It's important that you put the lid on. This is going to help retain the heat and it'll help boil the water quicker. Now we're going to do an uncut timing to see exactly how long it takes to boil this cup of water. Excuse me, two cups of water. First thing I do is open up the valve. You'll hear the gas coming out. Now it's burning and it's on. Got the lid on, we've got the water in there. I'm going to start the timer. I think a lot of people make at this point is they keep taking the lid off to check the water to see if it's boiling. You'll know if it's boiling when there's steam bubbling up out of that hole in the middle. Those fins on the bottom are designed to very efficiently transfer the heat from the flame right up into the cup and into the water. The other thing those fins provide is a little bit of wind protection. Like I said, that windscreen uh, aluminum foil that I carry around, I've never had to use. And I'll tell you right now, we're on kind of the top of a bluff, and there's a constant breeze, and I'm not having any problem with the flame going out. see a little bit of steam starting to come out the, the uh, drinking hole, the sipping hole. Let's see, where are we? We're about a minute and a half at this point.
now just turn it off. And I'll pop this off so you can see. Yep, hot water. Okay, so let's see how much each part weighs. The fuel, we'll start with the fuel canister. Uh, that's 6.7 ounces, and that's after having run it to boil one, uh, or excuse me, two cups of water, like you saw. When I started out the video, it was 100% full. So 6.7 ounces is basically full. The cup without the koozie, 4.8 ounces. The koozie is 1.1 ounce. The burner, 4.4. The stand is 1.1, the lid 0.8, and we have the cap that I put on the fuel, 0.1 ounces. The cooking surface, if you plan to use that, is 1.3 ounces. So we have the protective cup, 0.9. Uh, my tin foil that I take with me, 0 0.1. My Bic lighter, probably three quarters full, 0 0.4. Waterproof matches, half used, 0 0.2. And that's it. I mentioned earlier that uh, cooktop you can put on or that cooking surface. Remove your cup. Take this thing, these little uh, feet kind of bend out. You can see that. And then this just clips onto the top. And now you can use a jet boil pan or pot or, I don't know, coffee kettle, whatever, to stick on there. I've never used that thing. I only boil water. All right, let's pack this thing up. The first thing I do is put my matches and my lighter in that thin area. Put the cup on. Take the feet, hold them up. Stick that down in the bottom first. Next thing goes in is the burner, burner side facing down. And this is where I throw in my little bit of tin foil. Then the fuel, set that in next. The uh, cooking surface with these little feet folded in, feet down. And then the last thing is the lid. That's it. So thanks for watching another episode of Run, Hike, Explore. Hope you found this demo of the JetBoil Zip cooking system helpful. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. And remember, it's your world. Go live in it.